I'm Nikki. I work for Ted at Windy Hill Farm. He goes by the Handy Horseman. I have a new horse here today. I'm interning for the summer and I noticed that she shows a little bit of apprehension towards new obstacles. So I thought it would be beneficial to demonstrate how I'm going to get her through these obstacles, build her confidence, and do it all with patience and kindness. So see there, she stepped over it, and so Nikki's going to try to get her to where she'll touch her foot on it, step on it. So we'd be foolish to make her walk across that mattress before she'd even step on a blanket. So we go back to that same old story of make it simple and keep building from that. All right, now what Nikki's doing here is she's setting it up to where that horse cannot cheat on her and jump toward her. She did a really good job of setting things up to do it right. If you give the horse too many options, usually they'll pick the wrong one, okay? So... <laughs> And I just can't overemphasize the importance of not being forceful and not rushing the horse through there and allowing that horse to discover this through confidence. Very good, Nikki. See how she set that up to where she's standing and where she's positioned is a very important thing to watch. And there's no two days alike. We have to keep ourselves trying to think ahead and trying to get ahead of this horse and not let the horse cheat on us or say the word no. The whole purpose of this is to teach this horse to say yes and not to say no. Sometimes your no's have to turn into maybes but then there'll be yeses so we want more yeses than no's and then we want only yeses. Go. All right, I'm ropes, this rope curtain that I eventually want to walk her through. I'm going to start by just touching her everywhere else on her body so it's not so much of a shock whenever she goes through the curtain. Can't quite reach all the way to But also mention that you used your flag to get her to where she's not afraid of being touched anywhere first. Right. And that was all accomplished in a round pen. Okay. Very good. So now we're gonna, we just opened a little slot for her to stick her nose through and Nikki's not gonna push her too hard and force her, but we're gonna in, insist upon her doing this, okay? See how she's looking, to, looking for options.
right? All right, so now what we did is we brought the rope through and around the pole and see how we set it up better, okay? So we, we eliminated more options. But see how nicely Nikki's got her horse controlled on the end of that rope first. Very important, everybody, very important. And, and I'll bet you anything here in a little bit Nikki can come out here and ride through these obstacles just as soft and nice. Okay. Now, Nikki, drop your curtain. Okay. Now, one thing to remember when you start doing these curtains, any horses that have been around electric fences, they're really worried about stuff like this. So, you know, you just have to allow the horse to develop the confidence to push through that curtain okay and so that's kind of a no a maybe and we're trying to just turn that no into yes there you go Nikki, you might have to pull the rope just a little more, the pink rope, just to give her a little bit of... Okay. There you go. I just bring her on through there. Come on. There you go. Perfect. 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 Okay, now you see how nice that was? So now what we've done is we, we reduced this slit in there to one rope okay so we're letting her find this there it's a nice sweet horse you know she came in here just kind of a western horse had been beat on by a bunch of cowboys on a ranch somewhere or feed lot and uh, was in a hurry to do everything of course and now we're just kind of introducing her to the finer things in life to where, you know, she can get along without getting into a fuss every time she disagrees with somebody. Okay, bring your rope through, Nikki. There you go. So the purpose for this video is we're just trying to show you all of the patience and kindness and time, but also just how you got to set things up, okay? It's hot today and we got lots to do, but there's no sense getting in a hurry. If you want to get somewhere fast, take your time. And I always say that you do a lot of little things Little things all add up to be big things. So to this, this to her is a big deal. To us, it's a little deal. But you do a little a lot and a lot a little. There, see? It's like that. Now here's Brittany. She's got a little half linger that she's working with today. Look how softly her hands are being worked and how quietly and patiently she's working with her horse. But you notice she's not forcing it. She's not making this a emotional situation. We're teaching the horse to think. We're allowing it to investigate. We've prepared its mind to learn. And look how easy that is when you do it that way. In conclusion, we started with this first, as you should not ride your horses through these obstacles first. It's good to always do it in hand first, and now we're going to ride her through them.